And he is a non-resident fellow, that's the way to be there, at the Modern Moore Institute at West Point and host of Max Brooks Breaks Down on YouTube. Max Brooks. And she is a poster and founding partner at Echelon Insights. Our returning champion, Kristen Soltis Anderson, is back with us here on Real Time. Okay, so as I was talking to the secretary, I <laughs> have a lot of anxiety because I keep hearing nuclear war. I keep hearing World War III, which uh, we tried to book someone on the panel uh, who had experience with World War III, but it hasn't happened yet, so we don't. But Max wrote World War Z. So that's why you're here. And also... <laughs> <laughs> We're in trouble. The Russian army has been fighting like zombies. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, but I know you were uh, watching our show last week and you heard me say, why didn't Putin yep. invade Ukraine when his boyfriend Trump was in office? I mean... <laughs> Trump stood with him at Helsinki and defended him over our own intelligence agencies. So I was just asking the question, and maybe you do have an answer. Yep. Why not when Trump was in office? It would seem to be the more logical place. No, he didn't invade because he didn't need to. Because you only roll out the tanks when you think you're out of options. And Putin had a grand asymmetric strategy to dismantle NATO from within. And it was working. When the commander-in-chief of the United States Armed Forces calls NATO obsolete, you are on the road to a fifth column victory. And that's what he was doing. And as a matter of fact, we know now in 2018... Thank you. Maybe. Well, we know this. In 2018, Trump wanted to pull out of NATO. And it was John yeah. Kelly and John Bolton who had to hold him down like a rabid dog to stop him from doing that. And if Trump had won a second term, he would have done it. But Biden being elected caused no, Putin's plan to go up in smoke. We don't know what he would have done. We don't know why he did what he did. 